hack the planet what is up i am epic stream man here coming at you live with some no man's ski no man's ski the russian version of the game no man's sky no <laughs> um yeah it's uh it's morning um it, it's early i can't sleep so I might as well play some video games. That's the uh, MO of the Epic Stream Man Show, and now you know. So welcome to Epic in the Morning. Now, I completed the community, community expedition, and I was toying around with just continuing that and making that a good save file, but I have some good save files already. The only thing I really like about the expedition save is, well, let me show you really quick, that they give you an S-Class starship to start, which is nice. You can find one without too much trouble if you build the money and the resource. Okay, it's a bit, a bit of work, but you can get an S-Class ship there. It's, it's doable. It's not like trying to get a living ship, which takes a, a lot, a lot more work. But this is the S-Class ship I got. Uh, a lot of people would like this because it's like the one where the wings fold down. Not, not, not my favorite model, but what's great about the S-Class ships they give you in the, in, in the Expedition 3 is they come with specialized technology that uh, isn't normal for ships, so your launch thrusters are, are pretty normal, but your hyperdrive is a frameshift catapult, a legally modified warp drive. This thing, um, space hyperdrive range is somewhere around a, a thousand hyperdrive range, just on its own. Like, I've added a 240 light years to it, and as you can see on the upper right, there we have 1,200 um, light years on our range. So that means if this is adding 240, this is uh, 1,000 on its own. Most ships I've seen base hyperdrive range on their normal hyperdrive is like only 100 maybe 200 um but this is a thousand so that's freaking awesome that's the only reason why i like keep flying the ship and then you got uh your life support unit so this 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 uh frame shift catapult is very special um also you get highly customized uh pulse engine as well um I think that added more maneuverability and stuff than normal. Efficient and highly responsive. Uh, is the trinium is regarded? Okay, yeah. Then beyond that, it's pretty normal. I think you got you know, for now. I mean, you can get whatever weapon you want. But it's the fact of that hyperdrive mainly is that you know this. Uh, the ship that you get here it is awesome. Oh yeah, I wanted to fly around this planet. Let's see if we can find a trading post here, actually. Now, what I wanted to play with is... So, I, I love... Kind of me scanning out installed. Oh, shit. That's right, I haven't installed it on this ship yet. Microprocessor, I'm wearing them. We could, yeah, I think we, we could do that. Where'd all my wiring looms go? Hold on. So, I don't like the look of my ship, but I'd love 
to get a different one. And as far as I've tried, I've tried uh, starting new saves at the beginning, and I keep getting the same ship and the same player character. It seems to be based off your player ID or whatever. So, what I wanted to do is see if I start a, an additional save. Whoa. What just knocked us up in the air? I think that dude's... Yeah, he's aggressive. Get out of here. I don't normally like to kill animals, but... He just bumped us <laughs> like straight up in the air. Here's my wearing looms. I knew I had some. I forgot how many I needed. We'll just we'll just grab five of them for now. And we needed uh, we needed some circuit boards or microprocessors uh, which require carbon nanotubes. Alright, how many how many of those do we need? Five, okay. Ah, uh, and we don't have the carbon for it? What the fuck? Okay, this is turning out to be a longer thing than I thought it was gonna be. Do we have economy scanner on this ship? No, we do not. Pure ferrite. Pure ferrite and phosphorus. gonna keep one of these because that's all we need. Throw that back on the ship. Make a full stack. Oh wait, I wanted the other ship. We need to go find some carbon and I want there's some cool animals on this planet. I wanted to find a trading post to see how good this planet was at spawns and things like that, but it all seems to be mostly water, at least this side of the planet. So I was going to scan for trading posts, but we don't have the economy scanner. Oh yeah, there's a grave. Another reason why I wanted to stick on this planet is there's lots of salvage data. But let's let's head to a different side of the planet over here. See if we can find some land mass. Yeah, salvage scrap data, salarian copper, phosphorus. Here looks like to be a bigger land mass. It's a cool world. There's not a lot of plants which you'd get carbon. It's very much more like a mineral planet, looks like. Solarium. Also that solarium stuff.
Ooh, here we go. Galactic trade post. We wanted a trading post. Instead, we found a galactic trade post. Perfect. You even had to scan for it. Although, it's got some build issues. Like, it looks like one of the launch pads or something. Ooh, there's some nice caves around here. This might be a cool place to build a base. But yeah, check this out. Like, there's one of your pads, landing pads. There it is inside a mountain. It's kind of, kind of odd. Kind of messed up. Let's buy some carbon nanotubes. I don't think we need any more sodium or gold. Gravitino balls, no. Trinium. Yeah. Oh, microprocessor. We could just buy five of them and we're good. Yeah. That works. Anything we need to get rid of? More date. Um. Cadmium dioxide, random oxygen, waking daggers, feline livers. I don't really need that. Alright. Now we should be able to build an economy scanner. Starship out of range. Out. Oh. Not have a matter beam. Still out of range. There. Yeah, happy. All right. Let's see what kind of ships show up. A vector. C class. Let's see what uh see what they got for sale. Viking daggers, pudnium, you know we don't have a lot of pudnium. I'll always use Trinium. Uh, right, let's flip this Trinium under our ship because that's where we use it. Salvage data deserves a slot back here. Antimatter, don't really care about. Don't have a lot of carbon. Yep. What do we have? Oh, that's active copper. We should sell this activated copper. Because you can't really break it down from my understanding. I mean, this turns into chromatic metal. It's a one to one chromatic metal, though. What is copper? Um, regular copper. Is that a one to one? Uh, that's a two to one. So activated copper will get you chromatic metal faster, I guess. That's good to know. That yeah, good to know. Uh, Atlas pass level three. But anyway, um, this is cool. We should put a base down here. Oh, 
And we'll just call it salvage outpost, because that's the big thing about this planet, is salvage data. Always good to keep an eye out what's nearby when you get the overview. I don't really see anything important. Uh, what do they call these? They call this an archive or something? Building. Just as it's a building. Incandescent planet. Sunny. Uh, occasional high, generous view. Incandescent planet. Yeah. We'll call this uh, Epic Epic. Alvage. G G. Outpost, collected trade post, outposts. All right. I heard some ships land. Ship lands there, it's gonna be hard to see because it's in the mountain. But yeah, alright. Just build like a little hut here, and we can upload the base. So you need some structure in order to upload a base. So we're just gonna build a basic tiny hut. This is where build cam comes in handy, I guess. And what, what's a save point cost us? Two, two metal plating. Oh yeah, we don't have the carbon to build carbon nanotubes. So what was the same point? Two metal plates and a dihydrogen jelly.
Alright. Um what does Yeah, we don't have the carbon for carbon monitors. What's fungal mold turn into? Carbon. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fungal molds actually gives you one to two carbon. It's a more efficient way of storing carbon, but you have to process obviously, and it takes a little while. We kept that fungal mold around. Coming back around. So we need. Uh, it's like at least five of these things. And at least two carbon nanotubes. Oh. Oh shit. I don't have any heat protection. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, we want to build one of these. But you see how far away you have to be standing from this thing to place them now? I don't know why that is. Portal. Cycle part L2. Yeah, let's put one of the UVs. One of these right here, and we also want to build solar. Uh, we need another metal plating for that. Okay. Uh, how about you? Need another metal plating for that. So two more metal platings. Battery. Do a battery. Two more metal platings. All right. Let's build one of those. They have a, a those as a backup for like if oh, we should see if there's electromagnetic source nearby. Honestly. Cause that would be awesome. See if I can line this up. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, let's switch to wiring mode. You want to link that? Over to there, so it, so it gets some power. I'll grab that and link over there, so we can power it two different ways if we need to. Oh, you know what? We also need a switch Pro proximity switch. Let's go ahead and slap dashery proximity switch on here. And then we go back to build mode, and then we want to go from power to the proximity switch. Proximity switch to power that. So that way we're only powering 
that if we're close by. Alright, and we'll slap a little power in here. Just a tiny bit, just to make sure everything works right. Yeah, see it powers it, we walk away, and it stops powering. We get close, powers it again. There we go, that, that's what we want. Then the battery will just end up storing the energy that we put in the biofuel reactor until we need it. And we, and we save it. Got ourselves a little hut, a little station. And then now we can capture a nice base screenshot. And upload it. So we got ourselves a little hut up there. Show off the fact that it's a, a galactic trade post, a galactic outpost. Get a nice low shot. It's pretty good. And we'll upload it. There we go. Cool. Now, for the PS to resist alls. Let's see if, if there's an energy source nearby. And there is one nearby. We got lucky kids. And it's probably, it looks like it might be within range to tap into. Ooh, this might turn out to be a pretty good base. Now, now, if it's an A class or higher, I'm going to be super happy. A lot of animals around here. These these ones aren't predators. Those other ones, those those guys are predators, I believe. How right, did we go past it? Hot spot. Uh, it's only C class, but still, that's something. Forty-eight. So where is it? So is this down? Up? Where is it? Down. Back down this hill. 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 47. 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, I think 49 is the best I'm getting here, 48, 49, 48, 49, so yeah, somewhere, somewhere around here. So, what do we need to build? Just need two metal plating. We can do that.
They're gonna go ahead and triple stack. Oop, not what I wanted to do. I'm not in build cam. <laughs> build cam. There's our power tower. Now we just need to wire it up. And then we need to get the wire. All the way to our battery over here. Too far. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and slap it right there. And let's see how these are doing. Not connected, power output. See the wire connecting. See those two connected. Hold on. Alright. There we go. Power grid 438. So if they're, yeah, that's about right. If they're each producing 147. 438 total and we can add more later all right so we uh, added a wire here down to this guy go ahead and bring this so we can get up there and build cam might be too far no we're good And the wire gets hidden because of our cloaking thing. But now, this thing is getting tons of power. Now we got enough power to power everything. We got a little solar panel and a uh, fuel reactors backup, but because of the electromagnetics tower over there, we should get plenty of power. Uh, we were a little off. We could have maybe got one more percent if we shifted everything. You can see it from here. You have to be far enough away to see it, apparently. Of course, there's some salvage data. Some cool caves nearby. Lots of interesting animals. Alright. It does get a little too hot here. Oh, go ahead and save it. So now we got a nice base at a galactic trading post, um, and it's got power. It's a little hot here, but Now we got our own economy thing. We got some nice fighters coming in. 
C-Class, C-Class. Got our technology merchant. If we need anything, we can come here. He's, he's got all the things. Drop pods, even. Glass. Um, what kind of blueprints he got? And that's it. Okay, there's not a lot of blueprints, but still. It's nice to have a technology merchant if you ever need comp tech components. You got uh, blue information. There's this loady data pad. Oh, it's just kind of cool. You have some people so you can talk to. You always come in here for shelter because it's shielded. Very nice collect trading post. And they have built in landing pads. So this is why I like taking over existing structures. Pretty nice. And the animals will keep uh, my power tower secure. <laughs> They're like my guards. Buried cash. Salvage data. Alright. I think that's pretty cool for the save. I was hoping this would be a planet I'd want to get a settlement on, but I'm not so sure. So anyway, back to my original plan, which was, uh, let's see, now that we have an established, finished expedition save, what happens if we start another one? Are we going to get the same exact ship? Um, because I'd like a new ship. with uh because the technology is so cool in the warp drive i'd like just a better looking ship now if we end up getting the same looking ship then there's no point in creating another expedition so let's find out Initialize expedition. This is interesting. Same multi tool. Let's see if my character is the same. Yep, character is the same. Ship is the same. So, no luck there. It's all based on your. At least you started with a galactic trade terminal here. This could jumpstart your, uh, repair your ship. Yeah, let's see, you got the, the quantum computer. Storm crystal's easy enough to find because the storm's like crazy. The magnetic resonator's a little tricky. Uh, crystal sulfide. Uh, you can find in the water. The Herex crystals, I guess you get those from buried uh, mineral deposits. We didn't know that. The larval cores are hard to get a hold of. Iodized cobalt, not too bad. Gravitino balls, I think, is one of the rewards for sh something. For one of the uh, things. 
Quantum computer magnetic resonator. So what can you get out of here? You get a gravitina ball. If you, get, if you had the cash money. No magnetic resonator, no quantum computer. They do start you with a lot of slots in your exosuit, but but that does show me um, not getting a better exotic or a better S class ship. Uh, do we see any of my bases from my other save? Subterranean relics. I don't see any bases here. Very technology modules. Not seeing any bases. There's a building now, right? Oh no, that's the galactic terminal. Very technology module. Ooh, a jettison pod. Yeah. Alright, well, no point in continuing this. We're gonna get the same ship and all that jazz. Quit the mode select. Yeah. Never been saved. Alright, and I didn't even keep the save because it wasn't fully initialized. So, I guess we're... If we really want... If we're really in love with the hyperdrive of the ship, we just need to be happy with what the design we got and um, build it up. But yeah, the, the frame shift catapult, man. Just, uh, yeah, just for comparison here. Oh, don't want to continue this. Force close my game. That should not have come up yet. I believe this will screw up my save if I continue. Because the, the expedition is supposed to be over for a uh, couple, like four weeks. Well, I guess we're ending my broadcasts.